Hi everybody, this is Flying Robert's Crochet. I'm sorry I didn't get out of the video yesterday. Um, my husband ended up having surgery and it just wasn't going to happen. And I found out by watching last week I'm a very fast hands movement. Sorry, I will try and keep them under control for this video. Did want to show you some. I know I'm supposed to actually do some teaching you how to crochet a little bit with the chain stitch. Needless to say, that back burner on me also. Um, I will come back and teach people how to actually do this, but I've got a different type of recording system I have to use, and it's not been set up yet, so I'm kind of waiting that to happen for me. Um, so, hope soon. I'm still with the person. But anyway, I wanted to come back and tell you some, show you maybe some things that I've done. Uh, I guess it would be finished objects, finished projects. Um, I had this one done. I don't believe I've shown this before. And this is part of a crochet lawn. It's 100% cotton. They're really soft. They're washcloth and gorgeous cloth. The only suggestion I have is um, decide what you're going to use it for first so that you know that you know certain colors tend to go in the bathroom and certain colors to go to the kitchen. I wouldn't want a washcloth to end up in my kitchen. I don't think I want a dishcloth to end up in my bathroom. Kind of fun that way. I think most people would be. This is a crochet long. Um, this is the month of March dish cloth. Um, it's on Sarah's satchel. S A R A S A C H S. She actually put a YouTube video on M Tuesday morning. Just love listening to her. I think she's so funny. Um, I enjoy watching what she does and what she's made. And she gives you some answers on what to do. Uh, and also, she'll, she has the ability to show you stitches. Um, I always thought that you did all your projects with the chain stitch. And you don't have to always do projects with the chain stitch. She posted something this week where I think it's called a double knot stitch. A double knot foundation stitch is what I think it's called. And um, she did that this week. And it's where you go in and you're doing a double crochet with a chain almost at the exact same time. So when you're done, your project is more flexible because you don't have that solid chain stitch on the bottom of it. And you do it together. It was really interesting to watch. Um, I had to go back and watch it again if I ever wanted to do a project with it. But it looked interesting. So, but this is the March. This is called, this is called the... Basket weave. Never done this stitch before. Did it off her tutorial. This is something new. Um, it was interesting to do. The biggest thing you have to know the difference between the back post and front post. It's called a basket weave. Let me put my glasses on real quick so I'll give you the right name. It actually was February. Sorry, it's February, and it's a bread basket. Is what this is called. Um, I enjoyed this one. A little time consuming because you have to pay attention to what's going on. Um, but I did like it. I really, really did like it. And you learn how to hold your yarn and travel with your yarns because this is two different colors. I never cut the colors. I never cut the yarn away. It's stitched and you just hold on to your yarns together. And you stitch with one, and then you stitch the other one. And it's really, I love how it turned out. It's actually beautiful. And my grandson got one of the um, washcloths to take a shower with, and he's six. He goes, Grandma, or Poppy, I'm called Poppy by my grandkids, and he goes, Poppy, this is so soft. I really like this. It's much better than the other washcloth. So, recommendations from a six year old, it's really soft. Um, so I did that. Uh, this is another one that I have done a while ago. This one is from the bag today, and I will post it down below. This is a toddler's cardigan. I love this cardigan. I did three of them. Now, she tells you to use four weight medium. I unknowingly bought yarn for another project, and I was supposed to buy 10 yards of it. Again, it was supposed to be four weight medium, and I had a great sale on it. And did it. I got it home. I was so happy to have it. And what I bought was three. So, and that's it. It does make a different project. Um, 
but I made three of these cardigans, and it's Mandela, and it's an automatic color change. And this is one grandchild sweater. I put little fishies, why there's buttons on it, and I'll get a little closer in a minute to show it to you. Um, it is from Bag of Day, and he's worn this for the past three or four weeks. So he's been playing with it outside. It changes its own colors. I don't have to worry about that. And it has a hood. It has a nice big hood on it. So um, I got a little wonky over here, and I think I just I squeezed too many stitches to it because I was enjoying myself, and I did it. Um, he, his is the only one that did it. Neither of the other two. I made three of these all together. Um, but I, yeah, it, it's the front, it's the back. You can see the color changes are automatic. I don't have to control over them. I can control them once you, but I don't have to. And then because he's a little boy, this well yarn had pink in it, and I cut the pink out of it. When I came to it, I cut it out so his sweater doesn't have pink. And the other two had pink in it also. And I just left the pink in because it was very mild what it was. I did find fish buttons for him, and I will tell you, they are the worst thing in the world for this project. They make it hard to get the buttons in and out, but I do hope, because he doesn't stand still. The ladybugs I put on my granddaughter's one, they're real easy to open up. She has no problem with that, and I've yet to put ones on my older grandsons, because I was doing the fish on my younger ones. I wasn't sure I really wanted because I dump trucks for him, or trucks for him. I'm not really sure I want that. Anyway. So those are the two things I wanted to show you this week. Um, it's been a little crazy in my house. We, Like I said, we've had surgery go on. Uh, we've had recovery in the house. We've had excitement in our lives. Things are changing for the good. Um, so we are just kind of moving around and trying to deal with everything that we have to deal with. Um, I do want to do that tutorial, like I said, and show you how to do the chain stitch. Um, please also... Like and share my video, like it over here. You can share it along here if you want. Maybe I'll get some more subscribers. And then also down here is the subscribe button. Please subscribe. It should be on red if you're on your phone. I believe it's black if you're on a computer. And if you go to the bell and hit all that, anytime I post a video, it'll come out to you. I want to give a shout out to Yarn Joy Terry. Thank you for joining my, my, my uh, channel. I hope that we have a great friendship that develops over time. So, because I love watching you do your tutorials. I love creamy hats. They're beautiful. I'm like, one day I'm going to get that good. And it's just a fact that she, she's the yarn joy. Her name's Terry. She's got a YouTube channel. So I'll post it down the bottom. And she said goals for herself this year, which I thought was really good. Um, and what it is is she does creamy hats a month. And she has to have them done by October. Um, she's got Amaruri, I think what, how it's pronounced. She's working on She has so many of those a month. And she just said, she just sat down and made a decision of how much she's going to have done each, each, by the end of the year, how much she has to have done. And then she figured out how many she had to do each month. And she's just chugging along. And she does some beautiful work. Um, and she, she tells you about patterns that she'll buy and whether it's really worth it. And, they used to make things. Um, she just did a flamingo bag that is to die for. Beautiful work. Just saw it posted on her on her uh, YouTube channel, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and it's gorgeous. I just can't, cannot tell you how pretty it is. So, hope to see you again next week. Thank you for stopping by. Because without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. Bye.